All right, so I just wanted to show something that I found again. And this is just like theoretical situations because keep in mind, um, you know, I've only made five edits. So I don't really know what is good in most use cases, but I'm just trying to help out anyone who actually is good at DaVinci Resolve, if there are people out there. But basically, let's say that we have a shit ton of um, inputs, right? And again, this is a really wacky um, situation, right? And let's say you had these inputs and you wanted to swap in between them with one node. Or swap in between them, like, periodically, like, you wanted to have this, like, you know, have this on and then have it switch off and then go to this and then go back and then, you know, back and forth. Um, some situations in which I think it could be applicable, I guess, which is really random, would be... What are you... <laughs> I guess it would be sprite animation actually, because if you do, if you are running a sprite sheet, um, and you need to swap in between multiple inputs, then you could do that. That's just a random thing. <laughs> All right. So another use of the switch views would be to have a bunch of text inputs, and then kind of just cycle in between them if you wanted them to loop, kind of, you know. So yeah. Or I don't know if you're just managing multiple shit and you don't want to do some weird ass you know merge merge node double merge node triple merge node and then if you want to turn this one off you have to keyframe this turn it off and then keyframe this one to turn it on while having the blend at zero either way it's fucking weird so something that i found while i was looking for a solution just because it's something i thought of and it's like you know what if stuff gets too complicated right and you have a super complicated node tree and you don't want to deal with that um situ uh, no, not a situation a, a node to deal with that would be and I'm just going to showcase how to find it right now because I'm too lazy to explain it. Um, go to workspace, scripts, reactor, open reactor, and I'm pretty sure this is for the free version. I know I'm a studio user, but, you know, because I cracked studio, but it's okay. Um, and now what we're trying to do is search up switcher? What the fuck is it called? Yeah, switch views or switch else views. And these are really good like nodes just for saying organized and these practically work in the same way so i'm just going to explain how switch else views works because that's like the complicated one or the better one supposedly but essentially what it is is let me just sign with this it will take all your inputs okay but then you can swap in between them you know however you want and keep in mind it does change the resolution or input so that's something you might have to account for but either way it's a way in order to you can have a, a shit ton of inputs and then have it all go into one node and then just kind of like have it slide around and like if you really needed to swap in between a bunch of shit like let's say i don't know let's say in like some cool motion graphics shit you had some some stuff that just swapped back and forth a bunch of times like let's say you had two scenes right and you wanted those two scenes to uh, like flash back and forth like over and over and over and over again um like you know some stuff like swap back and forth a lot you could like keyframe merge nodes and like set the expression to have the blend of that one be opposite to the next one if you really wanted to but you could also just use the switch else views and so basically the switch thing is just for swapping inputs um the else views is that if the input that you're currently on dies or it, like it, it ends like the input's gone like you know or the blend is set to zero i don't actually i don't even know if that's what it means like blend is set to zero if that switches it but essentially this is like a backup node which is like a just in case so let's say you had like a, a, a media file that only ran for 40 frames once that's gone and you still have this set on the media file that only goes for like 40 frames you could have an else node which is kind of just like a backup node like something you want to run back to if like um it's not working in most cases though i don't really think that's gonna you're gonna need it so you can just use a switch fuse which is legitimately just the switch else but without the, the else so you can do the exact same stuff and basically just manage your shit pretty easily like that um yeah that's basically all i, all I have to show you um, I don't know if that's super applicable to anything in terms of editing, but it can be useful in certain scenarios in which if you aren't able to do certain things within one node, you could just make two scenes 
which look kind of similar to each other and then just like flip back and forth. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, have 